Usually this laboratory at the University of Warwick studies cars, but today a statue, a statue at the heart of a historical whodunit. Is this by Michelangelo? First expert witness, a doctor of anatomy. And particularly if you look at the abdominal muscles as well. So this um, model has actually got an eight pack. <laughs> when we look at certain anatomical elements, only those anatomical elements could only be seen and found um, by human cadaveric dissection. Is that something we know about Michelangelo? It, it is. So we believe that Michelangelo actually has opportunity to dissect and study human anatomy. The 3D model was created using this portable laser scanner belonging to Warwick Manufacturing Group. The model is such a high resolution we can actually pick up details uh, down to the width of a human hair which is ideal for heritage applications such as this. The surface would help them define the processes used and then help you know, define the origin of the statues themselves. The computer model has been used to create mini statues x-rayed at the University of Birmingham while they were being cast with molten bronze and now they can create a full-size version and all this is essential to understand the casting process and to give us an accurate date for the bronzes. So we've got proper Renaissance materials, the, the moulds made out of clay, hair, uh, dung, sand, brick dust, a whole miscellany of things that you would find at that time. So now Andrew is ready to recast the bronzes using all the evidence, all the data that's been gathered over the past few weeks. And the idea is to recreate the problems, the difficulties that you see in the original sculptures. And all of that will be evidence that they are indeed by Michelangelo or Michelangelo adjacent. And today, that copy, along with all the evidence we've shown you, well, it was presented to the art world at a conference in Cambridge. There's a general consensus of opinion now that actually the quality, the supreme quality of these bronzes, combined with uh, the, uh, the rather heavy casts and these imperfections, do indicate that they are early 16th century bronzes, that really Michelangelo is the most likely candidate. The only surviving Michelangelo bronzes in the world. Bought for 1.8 million in 2002, value today priceless. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Middens Today.